And on today's random spot, prepare to set your eyes to stunned, we're going to be looking at the Batman Gummy Bat. A giant gummy. Artificially flavored. Look at, look at that, eh? This probably was the last thing I was expecting to find. And uh, right off the bat, I can tell you, I don't even remember where I found this, but I think it was about a buck. And uh, very, very creepy. I would have almost liked to have saved this for Halloween, but I'm pretty sure the gummy wouldn't be good by then. Uh, ages four and up. Uh, very interesting. On the back, you can see that it's got Batman throwing a Batarang. And I'm actually surprised that they didn't... It's not a Batarang, because that would have been cool. But instead, they give us a creepy bat. Um, one thing I find that's funny is at the top here, it says, Two Tasty Flavors. Why don't I hope if I pull that up there. Two Tasty Flavors. We've got Blue Bat. The Blue Bat is Blue Batberry. And then the purple bat, which I have right here, is uh, Battermelon. Battermelon. I guess that's supposed to be a watermelon that they put the bat in front of it, but... Uh, very neat. Very neat. Very neat and very creepy. So, let's not waste any more time, because I'm sure everybody everybody's at the edge of their seats for this one. Uh, let's get this opened up. And we'll find a little tab. Every kid knows when you look for a package, you always find the tab. You find that little little piece of overhang, and normally you can. It means you can get in there and, and actually open it up. Oh, you know what we're gonna need? We're gonna need. We're gonna need good old red. We need good old red. And uh, red's not gonna waste any time. Red's gonna get this opened up. Lickety split is what they usually say. Lickety split. And we'll pull it out. Oh, 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 pull it out. And we'll put the package aside. The Batman package. And here we have the gummy bat. Just as creepy, maybe even creepier than uh, it looked in the package. We'll take off the overlay. And the overlay, actually kind of neat. If, you, uh, if you're a chocolatier, you could certainly put some chocolate in there and make chocolate bats if you wanted to do that. And inside... <laughs> oh, this is gross. You actually have to peel the bat off the plastic. Kind of like it just, you just hit it. You just you kind of go in the house and say, Hey, Ma, look what I hit. Hit this bat. Whoa. I'm getting the camera here. And here we have a bat. Nicely detailed, I suppose, for a gummy. It's very hard, too. It almost feels like bubble gum. But a little creepy bat face. I really don't want to play around with this too much, because I'm certainly going to be eating it, but very, very weird. A very weird find. Probably one of the weirdest spots I've done so far. Okay, so let's uh, let's give it a try. Ooh, so what, what's he going to eat? Is he going to eat the wing? Is he going to eat the legs? Alright, let's give it a try. Oh, God. Wow. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to eat this. It's like eating a shoe. It's like eating a shoe. It kind of tastes like a shoe, too. Wow, that's disgusting. <laughs> that, that is disgusting. Mmm. Wow. You know what it reminds me of? For anyone that cares. It reminds me of... Um, you know when you buy leather shoes? When you just first buy a leather shoe, a pair of leather shoes, and you open up the box and it has that... That kind of... I, they've just been sprayed. Like It tastes like that. <laughs> Wow. Definitely a pass. 
definitely a pass. Uh, that was a random spot. I'm going to wrap this up here so I can spit this out. That was a random spot on the Batman gummy bat, which I bit the hit head off of. Wow, that's gross. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I'm not. And I'll see you guys next time.